Hey, welcome back everybody. We're joined by uh, Dr. Corey here at Stillwater's Dental for another episode of In the Community with Dr. Matt. And we're actually hanging out, we're actually neighbors. So I, my practice is just across the road and Dr. Corey's is just on this side of Delrex at Guelph. And uh, we just want to learn a little bit more about what goes on in a dental office. And uh, we want to learn more about Dr. Corey. Awesome. So did you want to tell us how you got started? Uh, sure. I, um, I graduated dentistry from the University of Manitoba in uh, 1997. Uh, we opened up a clinic here in Georgetown in 2006. Before that, I spent a lot of time up in the uh, Canadian Arctic. Um, had a clinic and government contracts where we worked throughout the community. Yeah, and crazy. Okay. We started off what was called the Nunavut Territory, um, which became Nunavut in 90, uh, 1999. Um, had a clinic in Iqaluit, Nunavut, and uh, had a number of dentists working for us, going to all the communities within the uh, territory and all that. So, um, and then from there we opened up this clinic here. Yeah. So, what made you pick Georgetown? Then? Um, when I graduated, I, I went to this uh, University of Manitoba in Winnipeg, and it was a nice small community. I like the small community, and I like the community here in Georgetown as well. Great small community atmosphere, close-knit. I'm not a big fan of the hustle and bustle of Toronto uh, or even Mississauga, so this has worked out to be great. The people in Georgetown are awesome. Um, we have a lot of good specialists that we work with, either locally or just on the outskirts of uh, Alton Hills, which is great. So it's worked out really good for us. So. Good, and it's quite the move. Yeah, 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 no, absolutely. So yeah. Winnipeg, Nunavut, Georgetown. So it's yeah. a good move. Though. Good. So, um, what are you working on right now? What keeps you passionate? Because how long have you been doing it? Been nineteen years. Twenty years now. Twenty years. Yeah, twenty-one years. So, what keeps you excited every day? Uh, coming into our, I, we just really like helping patients and all that. Like everybody on the staff, we have staff that have been here for a long time, so they've grown with uh, with the practice. Um, uh, and with our community of patients and all that. So helping people out, uh, doing a whole host of dentistry is uh, really what keeps us driving and moving forward and all that. So, yeah. I just wanted to mention before we go on our tour, um, I think the first time I heard of Dr. Corey was on the radio. Uh, was it 68 or 1010? One or both. I don't yeah, know. I don't which I thought was really cool. He had a, a huge uh, initiative there at Halloween to come in with the candy. And essentially you traded people, right? Yeah, we bought candy back, uh, yeah. a dollar a pound, and the kids were bringing in their candy and trading it in. And um, What was cool about that is we ended up with like 80 pounds of candy that we then, um, there was a cystic fibrosis um, fundraiser that the candy was repackaged and sold for donations for cystic fibrosis, wow. um, some of which was also given to the bread basket here in Georgetown. Mm-hmm. and stuff like that so it was like totally repurposed and yeah it worked out really well so, so. one cause uh, two other cool causes yeah which, so, well. which is kind of neat yeah yeah absolutely yeah it's cool okay. so. did, did you want to give us a little tour so people know what to expect uh, yeah sure so this is our our office um i designed the office to try to have a more cozy feel because when i started we were working in nursing stations um, in the uh in the arctic which was a room with white walls and white floor and it's very sterile so I just wanted this to become more I wanted somewhere to go where I was comfortable to come in and, uh, yeah. and uh, practice and all that so um, so yeah no that was uh, that was great um, and that's that's why we've achieved this did you want to Joel do you want to see a shot of the roof there so I think that was one of the really neat things especially the first thing because I know my office is drop scaling right? so I'm always going for the, the cozy look and the warm finishes right yeah, so I think one of the neat things um, is that you've had it all done up with the beans. And yeah, I know. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And believe it or not, those beans are stuck. Are they? Uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of crazy, but yeah. I was surprised when we showed that to you. Well, they look real from down here. Anyways. Yeah, for sure. That's a look. Cool. So, did, did you want to show us something back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're in Dr. Corey's office. We're just going back to see more what it's like. If you want to go in there, and I'll go through the other side. This is a typical treatment room um, that the doctors use um, just in order to do treatment. We're 100% digital. Um, all our charts are all electronic. X-rays are digital. Um, and it's like easier. I totally. Well, when it's working, it's of course. Yeah, yeah. the backups. Are there, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Um, 
and then I find it's easier to explain stuff because we can put all images up onto the TV and then uh, then we can explain uh, what we see as dentists. So we have intraoral cameras that we use. We try to be as thorough in our explanation as possible just so that we can educate patients into their choices and options yeah. that are available to them and all that. The intraoral camera. Yeah, that's neat. I've yeah, never been there. One's right behind you there. So you can show the fine print basically when you, you zoom in. Yeah. So sorry, okay. it's in this sleeve right there. So basically, okay. we can uh, put the uh, camera in your mouth, and it just it'll take digital photos. Oh, okay. And then um, you can hyper image and, and then in. and then we just blow it up, and then you can see sort of if I have a concern about a tooth, instead yeah. of me saying, "Well, the tooth is this big and the filling is this big," you can. Actually see, sort yeah, of. pictures work way more than this. It, it does help explain it, so yeah. uh, it doesn't make it sound like I'm making things up or anything. We can yeah. both look at it, and we can both sort of explore sort of what the options are. So yeah. really good. Which I think that makes it great for patient education. And, uh, Absolutely. The more they know, the easier it's to make a decision. And that's we're huge about that. It's just giving patients their options and educating them as far as um, you know the option is is always to do nothing and what the consequences are of that. So if we can show more of what's going on and patients can appreciate more of what uh, we're proactive. trying to uh, uh, try to show them to do and all that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think, well, the comfort level's high, right? You come in and then you can actually just hang out and watch your show while everybody works on your mouth. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> you know, like TV, I, I don't usually watch daytime TV, but when I'm at the dentist, uh, it's always, you know, I, can, I get like 40 minutes of updates. Right? Yeah, the news is good. Uh, daytime yeah. TV is not the greatest TV <laughs> around, but uh, it's all good. For patients, it's awesome. So yeah. we're busy working, so whatever is on, it's on. Cool. Cool. Which is cool. So we have two treatment rooms for um, the dentists. We have two treatment rooms in this office for hygienists. Yeah. Um, and then uh, just the rest of our office is Good. just sterilization area, wet lab, and uh, storage. Yeah, I think that's the I mean, important part, right? Absolutely. Don't know how to handle. Yep. Yeah. yeah, everything's sort of open concept, and uh, um, everything's followed along the guidelines that are set out by uh, public health. <laughs> and all that, and so we're just, uh, we're just through all that. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think there's a, there's a ton of value definitely in uh, the setup you have, so it's ease of access. But also, one patient hears one thing, and they hear they learn from each other, too. Yeah. Yeah, I know my office is like almost completely open concept in the world. Yeah. And essentially, one person's talking about one health idea, the other person hears a bit of it, and they're like, oh, I heard so-and-so, and they said a better choice. Absolutely, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Cool. So, Did, um, is there anything else you want to share with us? No, uh, we've been in the community since 2006 and we just left Georgetown and all that. It's always our goal to provide high quality dentistry in a comfortable and relaxed environment. So yeah. uh, that's what we strive for. And, uh, yeah, so we're, we're glad we're in this community. Okay. We really enjoy it here. Okay. Is there one thing that you'd want to um, share with anybody before we sign off? or? Anything other than that? No, well, thank you, George Tim. Yeah. Uh, we've enjoyed being here for sure. So yeah. we'll be here for quite a little while. Because we're going on 12 years here? Yeah, 12 years. Uh, since 2006, so that's 12 years. Beautiful. So yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be your neighbor. Oh, awesome. Always. For sure. Yeah. We've got to hang out a little bit more now. Yeah, so. thanks for being on. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks so if you have having. any questions, you can reach Dr. Corey. Um, I'll put his information in the bottom of the comments for Stillwater's Dental, plural, right? Stillwater's Dental. Stillwater's Dental. Yeah. 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 And uh, again, he's my neighbor just across at Dowarks in Guelph. But uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great Thursday. Thank you.